Uh, the focus of my research is the study of circulating tumor cells in melanoma patients. Uh, as melanoma, as most solid malignant, recommends a benign tumor that uh, is restricted by the basal membrane. When the tumor breaks through the basal membrane and intravasate and breaks into the vasculature, then release tumor cells in circulation. And these circulating tumor cells then uh, migrate to uh, uh, other organs and penetrate into the, into the tissues, extravasate, and cause uh, metastasis. And these metastases also release uh, cells into the circulation. Why we are particular to circulating tumor cells is because they are a sample of the tumor. And also, they can indicate that there is metastasis present, especially after the tumors have been removed. Or at least all the macro tumors uh, metastasis have been removed. Uh, what um, we have developed in the in laboratory is a methodology to uh, um, analyze these cells, to capture and to quantify. And we have found that you found, uh, we can measure larger number of cells in patients with metastatic disease than patients in early stages. Uh, and this corroborates the methodology that it works, that it can capture these cells. But what is important is to determine that cells, that patients in early stage of the disease, when there is no metastasis, they actually, um, if there is cells in this, in, this, in, this patient, in this patient after the primary tumor has been removed, then there is a risk that they might develop metastasis. And this is retrospective studies which is, are on their way in the laboratory. Another school of thought, um, I'm sorry about something happened to the graph, but another uh, school of thought uh, is, not, is that it's not the total number of circulating tumor cells, but a proportion of them, and in this case represented, represented by these green cells, which are, have the capacity to metastasize in uh, different organs. And they are the one, uh, they have been attributed to the cells, stem cell like characteristics. These cells, um, uh, what we now are doing the developing methodologies to actually uh, characterize the cells by measuring different parameters in the surface of these cells. And we have found that at least two markers are more present, are present more regularly in patients with metastatic disease than patients uh, that have in early stages. But once again, what is important is to correlate the presence of some of these markers and the development of metastasis in later stages. So we can use it, then these markers as a risk uh, that, of, that the patient will develop. A metastasis. And uh, finally, what we really, uh, another use of this, uh, the circulating tumor cells is that they're a sample of the tumor, so they, we can bypass the necessity to, take, uh, to do a tumor biopsy because we can sample the blood. You can do it much more regularly than to do a biopsy. Plus, it's important in patients where the, mouse, uh, the, the tumors are not accessible, like in the case of a uh, brain metastasis. And this is how come out. Uh, really relevant in this new era of the development of targeted therapy. Uh, there is uh, various uh, drugs that are under development, and in this case, benburafenic, which target a particular uh, change in melanoma cells that is not present in normal cells. And in patients where this uh, mutation is present, then the tumors are uh, uh, increasingly reduced, sorry, are reduced uh, by the treatment of these drugs. However, most patients relapse within six to 12 months and the tumor regrows. And this occurs through a whole variety of mechanisms, which I'm not going to go into, but it is important to determine what mechanisms uh, the patient, uh, so this, uh, the mechanisms are patient specific, so different patients escape through different mechanisms. Uh, and it is important to determine what mechanism the patient uh, tumors escape because this will inform a second line regimen, a second treatment, or a combination treatment that these patients can be uh, further uh, put uh, under. Uh, as a proof of concept, we have, we have demonstrated that the circulating tumor cells that we release from this, uh, receive from this patient carry this, the, the B600 in mutation that the melanoma, the patient's tumors also, uh, that their tumors carry. And what we now develop in this methodology is to, deter, to detect the escape mutations also using circulating tumor cells and then be able to use it as a liquid biopsy. And this is in a nutshell, this. Yes. <laughs>